2018 CDL General Knowledge Exam, practice, study questions, and answers. Okay, hi. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I will proceed with the video format of this video. Um, as you can see, we're at question 200 which poses the question which of the following statements about backing is true now in this particular case all the options are correct and you can see with my mouse cursor it's highlighted so um, i'm going to circle the correct answer just as a matter of speed to get this presentation going faster also, I will go off the page with my cursor, then select the next arrow, and then circle again the correct answer on the next page or the next slide. So that's how I'm going to proceed. So we'll see how it turns out. Thank you. Which of these is not a danger when an automatic transmission is forced into a lower gear at a high speed? Loss of steering control. Loss of steering control. That is correct. Loss of steering control. Which of these statements is true about backing heavy vehicles you should avoid backing whenever you can that is correct you should avoid backing whenever you can the distance you sh should look ahead while driving at highway speeds is one quarter mile that is correct one quarter mile which of these statements is true about speed management on slippery roads it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding I'd say that's an, that's true, uh, considering that I live in Montana, and in wintertime, you certainly do experience that. So that is correct. On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. You are driving a heavy vehicle and must exit a highway using an off-ramp that curves downhill. You should slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. That is correct. Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. So basically, don't overdrive your headlights. That is correct. Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? leave your head beam lights on or your head beam your high beams do not leave your well here it says leave your high beams on that's something you should not do that's correct you don't want to leave your high beams on primarily because you don't want to blind people that are coming in the opposite direction when roads are slippery you should 
make turns as carefully as possible. That is correct. You should make turns as carefully as possible. You should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water, but if you cannot, which of these steps can help you and help keep your brakes working? Gently putting on the brakes while driving through water. So gently putting on the brakes while driving through water. That is correct. Gently putting on the brakes while driving through water. Which of these is true about radiator shutters and the winter front? You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. That's correct. You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. Which of these statements is not true or false? about engine belts in hot weather. Cracking is likely to occur, but it is not a safety threat. Well, yes, it would be a safety threat, but it's saying what is not true. And that is correct. That is not true. Cracking is likely to occur, but is cracking is likely to occur, but it is not a safety threat. And actually, it is a safety threat. What should you do if you see a hazard in the roadway? Use your floor, wave flashers, or brake lights to warn others. That is correct. Use your four wave flashers or brake lights to warn others. A car suddenly cuts in front of you, creating a hazard. What should you not do? Well, you don't want to honk and stay close behind the vehicle. That is correct. Honk and stay close behind the vehicle. Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. When traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. That is correct. Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Bridge formulas permit less maximum axle weight for axles that are closer together. That is correct. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. You are checking your steering and exhaust systems in your pre-trip inspection. Which of these problems should be fixed before the vehicle is driven? Steering play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. That is correct. Steering play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Which of these is not checked for on a pre-trip? Which of these is not checked on a pre-trip inspection? Amount of fuel in the vehicle. That is correct. That's one thing you don't check is the amount of fuel in the vehicle. One can recognize hazardous materials by looking at the container's label. That is correct. Label. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, how far ahead 
or how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. So let's go over that again. If you must stop on a hill on a two-way, two-lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? And that's because it's on a hill. Correct answer? Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. That is correct. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Which of these is true about hours of service? You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. You don't want to be out there driving and be sleepy. That is correct. You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. You should try to park your vehicle so you can pull forward when you leave. That's especially true for buses and, and trucks. Um, avoid backing whenever possible. Okay, so, yes, correct. You should pull forward when you leave. Let's go backward. You should try to park your vehicle so you can pull forward when you leave. That is correct. You can pull forward when you leave. Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. That's not a proper use of vehicle lights. That's correct. Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Which of the following is not a type of retarder? Robotic is not a type of retarder. That is correct. Robotic is not a type of retarder. What is the first thing you should try to do if your brakes fail while driving downhill? Get off the road as soon as possible. That is correct. Get off the road as soon as possible. When you drive in the mountains, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely down grades. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? Type or tire tread type. That is correct. Tire tread type. Which of these is not caused by rough acceleration? Tire damage. That is correct. Tire damage is not caused by rough acceleration. Which of the following statements is true? Well, you'd have to evaluate each statement, but the correct answer here is heavy vehicles or many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. That's true. There it is. Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Which of the following may be a sign of tire failure? Wheels fishtailing. That is correct. Wheels fishtailing. Which of these statements is not true? So you'd have to go and evaluate each statement for its truthfulness. In this case, the one that's not true is a drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. That's true or that's correct. A drinker can, well, a drink, actually it's, it's correct that it's not true. A drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. 
Optional safety equipment may include emergency phone numbers, tire chains, and tire changing equipment. That's correct. Tire changing equipment would be optional equipment. The braking effect of the engine is greater when the engine is blank, the governed RPMs, and the transmission is in the blank gears. C. Near and lower. And I'll read it for clarity. The braking effect of the engine is greater when the engine is near the governed RPMs and the transmission is in the lower gears. Near and lower. That is correct. The best drivers are those who watch and prepare for hazards. This is called being defensive. You ever hear the term defensive drivers? Here it is right here. That is correct. Defensive drivers. Defensive. All right. What will keep an engine cool in hot weather? So you have to evaluate these, find the correct answer, which is, in this case, making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Very critical. That is correct. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Which of these statements is true regarding the use of drugs while driving? So you would evaluate each one of these answers. Find the correct one. In this case, it's going to be this one here. Prescription drugs are allowed as long as the doctor says the drugs will not affect safe driving ability. That is correct. Prescription drugs are allowed as long as the doctor says the drugs will not affect safe driving ability. Which of these statements is true about warning other drivers of a stopped vehicle? So let's evaluate. You would evaluate each one of these answers. Find the correct answer. In this case, the correct answer is move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscured to within 500 feet. That is correct. Move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscured to within 500 feet. If you have, pardon me, if you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on an upgrade, you should shift into a lower gear. Shift into a lower gear. That is correct. You should shift into a lower gear. Which of these statements is not true about backing a heavy vehicle? So you have to evaluate each one of these answers and find the correct one. In this case, you should back slowly until you slightly bump the dock. That's an example of what you should not do. Remember, you're looking for the one that you should not do or that is not true. That's this one here. So the correct answer is you should not or you should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. That's something you don't want to do. You don't want to do that. In your mirror, you see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror, you don't see the car. To change lanes, you should, now it's asking you what you want to do, and the correct answer is wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. You want to know where that car is. That is correct. You want to wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. What should you do if a car coming towards you at night keeps its high beams on? And this is what you should do. Look to the right edge of your lane 
or the right edge of the road. That is correct. Look at the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road.